Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. So today what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can't uh, get some better stats on our creature. Now I wanted to quickly take a look at... Uh, uh, which one is it? This one. Uh, but we'll go into the main thing. It might give us some more information about it. Uh, let's see native climate barren so i'm not sure if that's barren yeah radioactive barren would be desert probably yeah all right so we'll probably try to go to um a barren planet like a desert or something like that i don't know if we have anyone in this system but we'll see if we can't find one um it needs to be in that particular climate in order to lay eggs so um once we have an egg what we can do is we can go ahead and uh use the egg thing at the space anomaly to get some better stats i want to put more helpfulness into it so problem with that is the chart says as of 2001 it's been an inaccurate so I'm not sure what one we're gonna actually need for materials I remember it not being accurate when I actually researched it but I don't remember seeing that message before so we'll see if um we can't get a um hundred helpfulness or at least a hundred percent okay there's that planet there's oh there's another one right there Let's see if we can't get direct line yeah okay aggressive sentinels gamma yeah that's not desert so we're gonna need to go to the space station I think um, and then we'll see if we can't find a planet that we've explored before I'm sure we have a planet somewhere um, we obviously had to pick it up from somewhere, so... I wish it listed the planet it came from. Uh, at least the name, so you could, um... Go back to that planet, but... Because all the planets are saved, right? So... So if we go back to the space station... Whoa! That came out of nowhere. A little bit of a weather phenomenon going on around here, too. Maybe that's just the ring? I don't know. Okay, let's go in here.
So I got uh, something a little bit better. So we got the egg to be help more helpful. Uh, though it still says very large and uh, gentle. So I'm not sure if it really will have any effect. But it did say that it increased the helpfulness. So we'll see how much that it actually did that by with 100%. It did not actually equal up to what the chart on wiki said. Um, I used magnetized ferrite. They said I needed roughly about 60 of them. Uh, maximum was 60, but it was more like 300. So around like 300 or something like that. It's in the, the previous clip, so um, maybe update that on the wiki. That would be, if anyone's a wiki contributor, then maybe that would be um, something to go for. But uh, yeah, definitely the chart's not as accurate. I thought I used magnetized ferrite before. That's why I went with it. I'm going, I, that sounds familiar. That I think I used it for my personal save on one of my creatures. But um, yeah, I was, I was correct. It was the one of the few of them that actually worked. So, all right, now that we got that, uh, let's head back out to space. We have a couple other planets that we need to discover in this system. So I'm going to actually put that on our freighter for now, if I can find a spot. Oh, you know what? We still need to, um... Oh, what do we need to do? We need... Oh, there was something I had a thought, and then it just kind of fleeted away. Uh, okay. Obviously, that wasn't too important. So... can't remember. Oh, we do have those distress beacon maps, though, so we might be able to find one of those. Though, I'm not sure where the planets are. I think they're on the other side here somewhere. Oh, boy. We'll go through the uh, mist. It's really hard to see through the mist sometimes, so... Let's see if we can't find these other planets. There's somewhere around here. Oh, there's one right there. Okay, we haven't been to that one yet, so we'll go explore that one. And then there's a, another small planet right next to it, so... Oh, there's actually two planets. There's one below, too. So these are mostly moons. I think... Let's go to here. One, two... Yeah, so this would probably be these ones right here. So they might actually represent where the planets are. I'm not sure. it would be actually interesting to see... Like, I haven't really ever figured out the uh, the map, so... Like, this map here. But it looks like these ones would be relative.
no luck yet trying to find that creature. We'll try a few more caves. Um, looks like there's some over here that might be worth checking out. Looks like a pretty big, massive area. So, a lander ship over here. I'm not sure how much fuel we have left for liftoff. About 80, so. Hopefully, it'll be big enough for um, actually finding it. Keep taking damage for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, we need to find an entrance somewhere. There's one. Okay, we'll go into this one here. We'll see if we can't. Um, find this one creature that we need to find. It's a rare underground one. Sure, if we'll find it. There's actually quite a bit of space where it can spawn, so it's quite possible it'll be in here. We'll see. I don't know. Um, it might be just the right time of day and everything. Try going this way, I guess. See if we can't find it. Maybe it's not this way. I would think that it would actually spawn in here. It's quite a bit of surface area. Oh, I see it on the radar. It's right over there. Dig to it. Oh, there it is. Interesting little things. Oh.
so I thought we would try it one more time just to see if we can get a distress signal. But uh, for a starship, I'm not sure if they're even possible to do that, honestly. It says distress signal, so theoretically, I would imagine it could be uh, ships that are crashed as well. Distress signal detected. Okay, so we'll check that out next episode. Uh, that's over there. Uh, we'll, we'll head over there right now. And then I'll actually have a place to land at least. But, um... Yeah, I, it seems like they're very rare. Most of the time you'll get one of those abandoned bases. Uh, now, if it is a um, entity or a ship, I do not know. So, it might be an entity in distress. Who knows? But, by the looks of it, it might be something we can use. So, okay, we got some pirates, I think. Um, not sure where these pirates are located. Anyhow, uh, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.